The Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 2012 was given to Robert Lefkowitz and Brian Kobilka for the work on G-protein coupled receptors. But what are those receptors and why should we even care about their investigation? G-protein coupled receptors are proteins embedded in the cell membrane, so-called integral membrane proteins. They are held in the membrane by hydrophobic interactions of seven transmembrane helices and the membrane lipids. The GPCRs serve an important purpose in the signal transduction in the cell. A whole lot of hormones and metabolites can't pass the cell membrane because of their size, charge or hydrophily, so the cell needs a mechanism to pass the hormone signal through the cell membrane. At this point, the GPCRs come into play. GPCRs have a binding site for a specific small molecule like a hormone on the extracellular side. If the right molecule binds to the receptor, a signal is passed through the membrane via a conformational change of the receptor. On the cellular side, the receptor is bound to a G protein with several subunits and the conformational change leads to the activation of one subunit of this protein. The activated G protein can now activate many other proteins like the adenylate cyclase. This cascade of protein activation finally leads to the response in the cell. For example, a change in the gene expression. Since there are thousands of different GPCRs found in humans and other species, and since they regulate a wide range of biochemical processes, this class of receptors is a great target for the engineering of modern drugs. Today already half of the pharmaceuticals on the market target GPCRs. This fact shows the tremendous importance of this receptor class and well justifies the 2012 Nobel Prize for Chemistry. Stay tuned for more detailed videos about GPCRs in the future.